Okay, so this is the longest I have had the pepper flowers stay on my plant after pollination. These were flowers yesterday morning and it is after supper time today. Normally they fall off the next morning. I also have another pepper flower. And I thought I had more of these guys, but uh, I guess I'm not seeing them, so I'm assuming they have fallen off. But I also have a mini grasshopper invasion. Almost all of my plants I've played with have an itty bitty grasshopper. Yeah, I gotta pick the beans. The kids have been working on them as they've been playing outside. And now finally, the up close view of the cucumber project. Now, I'm not completely finished. I have to put cross sections on the front, but I've got them coming down from the top to the front of the tomato cage. And around the back, I have a net-like apparatus going down past the tomato cage to help support the plants as they grow. Now as they grow, I'm taking their tendrils. and giving them a quick one-two around the string. So that they latch on quicker to help support them. If you really wanted to, you could pinch these tendrils off. It's not going to hurt your plant, but these help them hold on just a bit better. So whenever I see them hanging out, move them over to the string so that they latch on. Because they will latch on to the plant itself. Now this cucumber has begun to drop down and I believe it's the one that I hand pollinated yesterday to show Ember how to do it because she asked. Either that, or that's the one I did it to. I cannot remember. But they both look as though they have been pollinated, which is a good thing. Because I've been having bad luck with pollinators. I do have a new addition I just transplanted over in Anastasia's garden. However, I'm not going to do an update until I know if it took or not, because it's going through some shock. Like, worse than the mystery plant did. So, uh, see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. So I'm not exactly sure what this is going on on my zucchini, but Besides the split and the damage, um, and an earwig eating it, this up here looks like it's trying to put out new roots. That is just absolutely disgusting. So I have to figure out how to deal with that.
Um, but yeah, no, that definitely looks like it's trying to put out new roots. So maybe I'll get some borax and stick it in there. Um, but yeah, no, the, uh, cucumber support definitely, definitely held up in the storm that we had. And that was one crazy storm last night. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and, um, if you've ever seen this before let me know and yeah so borax is a powdered soap if you google it up it's mostly used as a laundry detergent it is sodium turbinate and I'm probably pronunciating that wrong but with bugs they will eat it and they won't die right away. So they bring it back to their source. And everybody at their source will eat it. And all pass away and leave your plants alone. It is a method that I do not like doing. But I am trying to save my zucchini at all costs. Now, a lot of organic gardeners suggest using this method. And... I've never used it before, but a lot of slime making companies will throw this in to the box for kids to make their slime. I have a video from a year or so ago of Ember making slime from a box kit that she got as a gift. Well, this is the borax that's left over from that kit. Now, this is the first time I'm using something other than soapy water, predatory bugs, and my fingers to help my plant live. So I'm sorry for all of you who are opposed to killing the bugs, but this is incense no different than putting soapy water on your plants. And I do believe I'm going to be trying to get some soil and filling this pot up, which will cover what looks like this plant putting out roots. Now if you look down here, it is putting out roots all over the place and it's running out of room. So, Look at all those roots. Also, if I try to lift the pot up, you can see roots coming out of the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to get some compost or some soil from where I had my garden last year and take it from there. But while I'm here, I found another spot that is doing the same exact thing. So if anybody knows what is happening to my zucchini, please let me know. I've never grown zucchini on my own. I am going to start googling it, but this is extremely upsetting. And it's the only plant that I have that's doing this. Whatever it is, they're going in at the junction point between the leaf and the main stalk. So I'm gonna go get the borax and put some more in there and hope that they go away. And if they do and my plant recovers, I'm going to add more soil so that it has more root space.